So the first thing we're going to cover is not really so much about convolution as it is how to get the neighbor pixels. For when we're doing convolution, we're going to have to ask for every pixel we process, what is the pixel to the right, to the left, up, down, diagonally, and so on. When you make materials, we have to remember that a material doesn't know how big an image it writes to. Often it doesn't write to a whole image anyway, it all writes to the triangles that the material are assigned to on the screen. It also doesn't really care about the inherent size of the textures that have been inputted. The size of these textures can vary depending on what platform you are using and you might have multiple different texture sizes on the same material. All you really get when you are running the material is some UV coordinate which can be any value between 0 and 1 and from there you sort of have to figure out what pixel you're currently covering. Usually this is handled by the interpolators on the GPU, which when given this value and the texture to go to, will figure out how to take the nearest four pixels and just find the value depending on exactly where the coordinate falls between them. So in the case of this square, for example, it's actually an 8x8 pixel texture overlaid with a 256x256 256 texture. It's drawn on the screen a lot bigger than 256 by 256 so there's not really anything tying all this together in the sense of index values for pixels. It's really a question of just using UV coordinates as a continuous value and so we get the problem that when we want to do convolution how do we actually get for the next pixel over? Now there are two ways to do this. One is that we figure out where our texture coordinate falls on the texture, as in around this area, for example, we can convert that into, well, it's, it's four pixels in and five pixels up, or we can get the UV coordinate for this point here, and then we can figure out the size of a pixel, and then we can jump over with that amount. And then we know that if we were in the middle here before, we can get to the middle over here or the middle over here. So if we have a look inside the material, You'll see that in order to get the size of a pixel or to figure out what the texture coordinate corresponds to as an index value in the texture, we first get the dimensions. Getting the dimensions is a relatively new thing in HLSL and therefore also a relatively new thing in Unreal. And so you might find somewhat older tutorials that instead of using custom HLSL, just simply inputs it as another scalar parameter, very akin to the offset we see over here. Now, once we got the dimensions, there are really two ways we can go about it. If we're using samplers, which we will be doing most of the time, what we do is that we take the size, we divide one with the size, that gives us the size of one pixel in UV space. We can then use that multiplied up with our offset, which is the number of pixels we want to offset with, and then we just add this to the texture coordinate and pipe it into the sampler. Alternatively, if we use even more custom code, we can choose to directly load the pixel without a sampler. So remember that a sampler is the logic circuit that can let you go from just an array of pixels to some interpolated value. So we can skip that entire thing by simply taking the UV coordinate, multiplying it up with the dimensions, adding that offset, making sure we don't go outside the maximum size of the texture, and then when we use this to load a pixel, because we're converting it to an integer, we basically floor it. So what ends up coming in here is just an index value in the same way as you would index an array. In this material, I've added a switch. You can switch between the two, but the outcome will be pretty much the same. And on top, I just overlaid this 256 by 256 grid pattern. So this means that when you click this on and off, there's not really anything happening. Uh, when you drag this, you can see there's always an offset of an entire pixel every time. And that's basically all there is to that. You will be seeing a whole lot more to get dimensions, get pixel size, load, and samplers in the upcoming examples.